For years, Brandon McMillan trained dogs for TV and movies, but now he trains dogs for a much higher purpose. At Brandon's Lucky Dog Ranch, pups are trained to help diabetics, disabled veterans, and other clients who just need a little help from man's best friend. Hey everyone, I'm Brandon McMillan here at the Lucky Dog Ranch, and this is Ground Zero where I train service dogs for people in need. Let's go meet some of them. That was Tank. Get on, get down there. Dakota. I rescue dogs from kill shelters. More than likely, the dog suffered some sort of abuse or neglect. I want to work out all the kinks, effectively rehabilitating them and eventually finding them a home. Who wants it? Go get it. The service dogs vary in the tasks they do. This right here specifically is an anti-anxiety dog. He's going to help a 16-year-old kid with his anxiety. It's basically his job right there. Make you feel at ease. Calm you down. This is Tank, and he's in training to become a diabetic alert dog. I want the dog to find the one can where the blood sugar drop gauze pad is. So the target can is right there. And let's see if he can find it. We'll find it. Good, good, good. Nice. I specialize in a lot of physical assist dogs for disabled veterans who've either stepped on IEDs or who have had spinal injuries. This is Coda. He'll be learning how to retrieve basic household objects, and also he'll be learning to brace. I can say the word brace and use the dog to get myself back up. Brace. Good. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the Lucky Dog Ranch, and I definitely hope you enjoyed meeting some of the dogs. So I bid you a farewell. Please welcome the owner of Lucky Dog Ranch and host of the hit series Lucky Dog, service dog trainer Brandon McMillan and his furry friend Atlas. Welcome, Brandon. So good to oh, have you. you. <laughs> so cool. Come on. You know, it, Come on. it's so cool what you do in terms of training these dogs to change lives, but I'm sure training them changes your life too. Is that oh. fair to say? Oh, absolutely. I trained animals for the movies for about 15 years, and I wasn't getting the fulfillment that I truly needed. There's one thing I learned in life, man. You're not here for long. You better wake up in the morning and do what you absolutely love. So I literally jumped ship in the middle of my career, and that was career suicide for the first, first few years because I was making absolutely no money, which I didn't care. I don't care if I even die broke. I was loving what I was doing. I was training dogs to assist people that truly needed it. I was changing lives. So I rescued them from uh, kill shelters. And so I rehabilitate the dogs first, and I find out you know, what they know and what they don't know. And then I train them to assist people who truly need it. So like in the case of Atlas here, well, I, I rescued him from a shelter right here in Los Angeles. First moment I met him, I knew I said, this is a service dog because his personality was perfect. So he is what we uh, call a physical assist service dog. So um, he's trained for a veteran that took a rocket fire in a tank in Iraq. And he has major nerve damage all over his body. So Atlas is trained to actually physically help him. I'm a huge fan of dogs. I love my, my rescue dog. You're a huge fan of dogs. And, and they do so many things for your health, even if, you know, even if you're not someone suffering with a specific ailment. We know dogs lower blood pressure. They lower your risk for everything from heart attack to loneliness.